Hi, my name is Doug from Streetscape Painting, and today I'm here in this garage just getting ready to clean a couple of paintbrushes. And uh, as a professional painter, this is something that is absolutely essential because of the cost of paintbrushes and how frequently um, we need to change colors. And I think this is something that um, too often uh, homeowners and do-it-yourselfers uh, don't take enough time on. So with a couple of easy tricks, I'll show you how we do it, and uh, you'll find that it's uh, really not that uh, lengthy a process. And in the long run, it'll pay off, because it'll allow you to have better quality brushes, do better quality work, and make those brushes last, so that you're getting your full value out of them. First off, I have two um, previously cleaned out empty paint buckets. One has uh, about four inches of water in it. The other one has the two dirty brushes just sitting there waiting to be cleaned. You'll notice they are placed on a painter's drop sheet because I'm here in my client's garage and I don't want to get any paint on the concrete floor. Now, the most important tool that we're going to be using to clean these brushes is something called a wire brush. You may have seen these in the hardware store. Um, they're an excellent little tool for cleaning out brushes. I use these ones. You'll notice uh, in comparison to the size of my hand, it's actually quite small, but we're only cleaning paint brushes with it, so uh, it's sufficient and um, good value. Cleaning out this brush, um, you'll notice it's very packed with paint. Now, you can also see that the paint is still glistening because it's fairly wet with paint. Um, how we handle it, it's been, this, this brush has been in the paint all day long, and how we handle it is by keeping it saturated with paint and damp so that it's not drying out. That makes it much easier to clean, and once it is clean, it bounces back far more quickly. So what I'm going to do is put that in the bottom of my empty pail and just pour in some clean water on top of it. What you don't want to do is take this brush and stick it into your clean water because then you won't have any clean water left and you'll watch uh, what I will do will give us a process that will allow me to get this brush entirely clean without having to go anywhere else but using the clean water in this second bucket. So to begin, what I want to do here is um, swish this uh, brush around in the water and uh, take the loose, very wet paint that's uh, built up off the, uh, off the ends of the bristles. And um, once I've got it good and wet, take the wire brush, place the handle of the, of the paintbrush on the edge of the pail and give it a brushing with the wire brush, always moving in a outward direction away from this metal piece of um, the edge of the brush called the furl and working my way around all of the bristles and you can see that they come fairly clean even with the first brushing Then once, um, once I've made my way around, clawing off any large globs of paint, I'm going to go back into the same water, which is now a little bit dirty, if you'll note. Um, there's a, quite a lot of color in that. And uh, give that brush another swish around, swirling it etc. And this is to get the pieces, loose pieces of paint off of it. Now at this point I give it a little bit more brushing, particularly, particularly paying attention to the metal portion at the top because personally I like to keep it fairly clean because of course that paint will build up and uh, next time I use it can obstruct my uh, hand positioning on the brush and cause even discomfort. And again, so now it's been 
brush twice with the wire brush, I will give it a rinse. And you'll notice it's actually looking pretty clean already. Now, of course, it's got paint inside the bristles and uh, fairly saturated. So uh, the best way to treat this now is to give it a spin, we call it. So what I do is I take my two hands on either side of the handle and rub them back and forth and spin it out. And that forces the uh, diluted paint to the end of the bristles and off to the side of the can and or pail. And you want to make sure that you've got a pail like this that you're uh, positioned over it so that the paint's not flying around your work site and uh, give it a few spins. And you can go back into the same water. And of course, although this is dirty, it's simply the process of bringing the wet paint down from the top of the bristles to the end and out. And it's, uh, as you see, looking quite a bit cleaner. Now what I will do is pour some of the clean water over my brush so that it is uh, not getting dirty by the uh, already dirtied water. And as I do that, that's going to really saturate it with more clean water. And I can work it in a bit and then spin it out. Now at this point, what I would do is look into the end of the brush just with lightly opening up the bristles and I can see if there's any large deposits of paint in there. There doesn't appear to be any, it's fairly clean. And uh, now what I will do is switch pails and go into the clean water. So bringing this other pail over, I want to take my brush and place it down inside of the water. And what you're going to notice is that this water is actually still very clean. As I place my brush down in there, swish it around, I'm not seeing a lot of paint come out of the brush. So I'm going to do that a little bit more, swish it around, and give it a firm spin out. And then back into the water, swishing it a couple of times, and spinning it out. Now once I've done that, it's uh, three or four times, this brush is really looking very clean. So as it happens, I'm going to be using this brush again tomorrow. So what I will do is just leave it with a little bit of dampness in it. So just kind of lightly flick out the water. I can feel it. It's still quite damp. Um, if I were cleaning this out and packing it away, like I didn't know when I was going to be using it again, what I might do is um, take it now into totally clean water. So for example, empty this cleaner pail into the other and uh, add fresh clean water, reinsert the brush in that and swish it a little more and probably find that there's little or no paint coming out of the bristles and discoloring the water. At that point I would know it's completely clean. Okay, so that's it. Um, I've cleaned out the brush. It uh, looks nice and clean. Um, you'll notice the stainless steel around the edge is um, fairly clean, not a lot of paint buildup, which I, as I mentioned earlier is going to be important uh, next time I want to use the brush. And uh, the final step to having a clean brush and taking good care of a quality brush is to take the manufacturer's jacket that it comes in and uh, return it there. So once the cleaning process is done, it goes back in there, it's wrapped up, and there you go.